The head of the Rockford Area Arts Council laments what she calls a 50% cut in funding for the arts across the state in the past seven years. She wants that number to change. WIFR reporter Anthony Ferretti talks with creative leaders about the struggle to get more financial support and the impact the low totals have on the local arts scene. We're trying to do more with so much less while everything is increasing in expense. Mary McNamara Bernstein says the Rockford Area Arts Council and other local creative agencies struggle to get enough money to increase access to the arts. It is critical that we get increased funding for arts and culture in order to continue things like the Rockford um, Symphony Orchestra, in order to keep um, admission at the Rockford Art Museum free for everyone. Music is something that everyone can experience. Rockford Symphony Orchestra Executive Director Julie Thomas says the pandemic took its toll on concert attendance and the symphony's goal is to rebuild that number to pre-COVID levels. Almost everyone who comes to a concert has a wonderful experience, so it's how do we get them comfortable getting in the door. Or even picking up an instrument. A lot of the skills that you develop by being in a team sport, you can develop by learning an instrument as well, but it also triggers things in your brain to help learn better. McNamara Bernstein says says arts in Illinois only get 0.03% of the state's budget, but she's optimistic organizations can get more from the state. In Rockford, it could start with the region's cultural plan, which will be revealed July 11th. What our job is, is to demonstrate that we can contribute to all of those areas that will improve our life and enrich our community. In Rockford, Anthony Ferretti, WIFR News. A Winnebago County economic impact study shows that in 2021, for every dollar spent in the arts, 58 cents is created in the rest of the economy.